What's going on guys? It's very interesting that no one is really talking about COVID. And it got me to thinking, I started doing some research and COVID deaths in Georgia are average anywhere from two to seven per day. And that's actually way less than other factors of death, such as automobile accidents, uh, coronary disease. There's uh, many, many things that are killing more people in America than COVID. So it looks like we've turned the corner, right? Eh, I want to tell you why COVID is going to stay with us forever and what's probably going to be coming in the next few months. Once again, thank you for all of my intellectual people who leave the well-constructed comments. Really appreciate you. Today at 4 p.m., the link will be below for you to get into home economics. What is home economics? Home economics is the foundational course before you become an entrepreneur so you can learn how to manage money and to have a financial um, surplus environment in your life before you start making more money. All right, so let's go ahead. The link's below. We start at 4 p.m. today. Um, I was doing some research, and do you know that people are locked down in China again? China deaths, like, once again, it's kind of hard to believe the information that you get from China but China has put out that the first reported COVID deaths were recent and they haven't had COVID deaths for months, which I really don't believe, but this is China. China and Russia, they kind of do the same thing. So, but now, you know, this is where I am with China. When China starts to admit certain things, that means that these things have been going on for quite some time. And for China to get to the point where they're shutting down factories, they're shutting down ports, they're shutting down, they're locked, they're telling their people to be on lockdown. This means that it's been pretty bad for a while and it just got worse. So what does this mean? All right, where did COVID come from? It came from China. Someone from China traveled to Europe and then literally from February to May, this stuff literally spread around the world. And once again, China has seen an escalation in COVID and there is a multitude of new variants. So I don't know if this is gonna happen, but let's go back and revisit history. Let's look at what we already know. Once the, this started in China and people left China. So right now, literally around the world, everyone is relaxing their COVID mandates. Uh, places here in America, they're relaxing, they're relaxing the mass mandate. So everyone is kind of chilled. Uh, Super Bowl. Super Bowl was packed. You see anyone wearing a mask? Super Bowl halftime show. You see anyone wearing a mask? So in the minds of most Americans, COVID is over. COVID is over. I don't think COVID is anywhere near over. Honestly, I think that COVID is going to become something like the common cold or the flu. It's just going to be something that's just going to be with us. And it's going to be with us forever. I don't think it's ever going away. I don't think it's ever going to be eradicated because China went through some very um, strident, some very pretty draconian measures to keep their people locked in to tamper down COVID. And I think with what's going on in China, we may have a repeat of what we had in 2020. We might, we might, and I'm gonna say might. 
it depends on how bad it gets because we looked at what it did to the economy. So after going on, use it, these are things we know. We know that the lockdowns effectively killed a weak economy. They, they just killed it. So this is why it really depends on what happens and how bad it gets. Because for us to lock down again, it will take a lot. It can, you know, like once again, right now we're in a state where the number of people who are dying from COVID is an acceptable death rate, two, seven a day, maybe a hundred, you know, around the country, maybe a hundred, 150 people per day. That's an acceptable death rate. So once again, what is the threshold? How high can that climb before we start locking down? And I have a feeling we can get past what we were when that COVID was at its height before we even think about locking down again. I don't think that we're going to lock down again. It's going to take so much to impose lockdowns because once again, we are already at an acceptable death rate. So it's going to, it's going to take a lot, but once again, it depends on what happens in China. Remember what happened to Italy? Italy completely shut down, killed their economy. Uh, the UK, uh, the great Britain shut down, killed their economy. So, it's something that we're going to have to sit and watch because right now, no one is talking about COVID. It's not even, you know, most people have literally forgot that we have COVID. It's not top of mind. It's not middle of mind. It's not even on the charts. And one of the things that I'm looking at, because I'm looking at China, and for China to lock down, it's gotten pretty bad. And we could see, and hopefully I am wrong. Hopefully I am dead wrong. We could see a repeat of what happened in 2020, but it will take a lot for us to even, even consider that. Because like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to throw some stuff out here. I'm just, this is pure speculation and assumption on my part. I feel we can get to a death rate of about 10,000 people per day across the United States before we even think about lockdowns and shutdowns again. Because of we look at what happened with the lockdowns. We looked at what happened with the CARES Act. I feel that the acceptable death rate will be between 10 and 15,000 Americans per day before we even think of, because, um, you know, I said some stuff that a lot of people disagree with that I felt that the government shouldn't have stepped in the way that they did with the CARES Act, with the Fed, with the repo, with the uh, QE. Um, they stepped in and they set the stage for a bigger collapse. If we had let things be, you know, just looking at it and taking the information that we already have, um, I'm kind of thinking that perhaps we shouldn't have shut down because hear me and hear me, hear me, hear me out. If China, what's going on in China? Cause like, once again, information that you get from China, you got to take with a grain of salt because they're going to lie. They're not going to tell you the truth. Uh, essentially they did not tell the world that they created this, this, this virus that was created in a lab. I believe this virus was man-made. I don't think this is an act of nature and it got loose and then they didn't tell nobody and they just let their citizens export it around the world. And this time with the relaxed standards, because here's the thing, China is the manufacturing basket of the world. So Chinese citizens are literally traveling to Africa, Australia, 
Britain, United States, uh, Russia, Chinese, like you go to Africa right now, there is a huge Chinese population in Africa right now. So because China is the manufacturing basket of the world, there's, you know, it's going to be, I mean, unless every country do, does this, and this is very draconian, if you're from China, you cannot come to our country. If that was imposed, that would probably stop this thing from doing it all over again. But once again, looking at what we know, I, I don't really think, like I said, it's going to have to be really, really bad, really, really bad for us to shut down again. I mean, 10, 15, maybe 20,000 people a day and the hospital facilities would have to get uh, jammed up again. That's where we would, that's where we would be before they even think about starting to shut this puppy down. That's where we would be before we even get to um, shutting anything now. And once again, do your research, keep your eye on China. What happens in China is very important over the next year, over the next year, because if the variants and there's multitude of variants, there's a multitude of variants. Um, if a, cause one of the thing is, the, this latest variant, I think it was the Delta variant, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not 100% sure, because I haven't been keeping track of COVID, because I'm just like everyone else. I'm like, I mean, I typically go out without a mask, but I typically don't go a lot of places. You know, I may go to the gas station, I may go to a restaurant or something like this, and typically, in all the restaurants I go to, all the servers are wearing masks. So, you know, I'm just like y'all. I'm not, I'm not really, COVID wasn't top of mind. I was just actually, I was on the internet doing some research for one thing, and then I saw Chinese lockdowns. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's, let's go look at this. And I go over there, and I'm like, holy moly. We can have a repeat of what happened in 2020. But it's because of the, you know, lessons learned, things that we know, because people are getting vaccinated, it will take so much for us to even consider shutting down. And like I said, the death rate is probably 100, 150 people a day across America with COVID. That's an acceptable death rate. And it's just like, how high can that go up before we start shutting down again? Also, here's another problem with China. Since China is shutting down and China is the world's manufacturing basket, guess what we're about to experience? And we've been experiencing it this whole time during COVID. Supply chain shortages. Supply chain shortages are about to go up because China is shutting down their factories, they're shutting down their ports, they're shutting down their cities. So we can expect a serious supply chain shortage to be happening in the immediate future, which is going to be, you know, for some people, uh, we get critical ingredients for medicines from China. That's problematic. We get a lot of parts and chips and stuff from China. That's problematic. And this is one of the reasons that Apple, Tesla, and other companies are building their own chip manufacturing facilities here in the United States. Because they've saw what happened. And they're like, we cannot go through this again. So I honestly, if I had to, if you, you put a gun to my head and say, Glendon Cameron, are we going to shut down again? I would be like, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because it, like, knowing what I know, knowing, seeing what we've been through, it would have to get so bad before they even consider it. Because 
I look at what happened with college football. College football 2020, there was no one in the stadiums. 2021, the stadiums were packed. <laughs> so this, this, is, this is really uh, disconcerting because, you know, you got to keep your eye on China because if what I assume, because I don't know, is happening in China, because if China tells you that two people died, you can actually say a thousand people died because China is very tight lipped on stuff that goes on in its country. But yeah, the supply chain shortages, they're about to get nasty. They're about to get stupid. You, you're going to start seeing this pop up all over the place. You're going to start to see it pop up in, manu in clothing. You're going to see it pop up in the grocery stores. You're going to see it pop up in parts, auto parts. A lot of auto parts come from China. A lot of auto parts are manufactured in China. So we're going to see massive supply chain shortages all over the place because China is shutting down. And this is kind of weird because we still have all of those ships off the coast of California, Florida, that's loaded with merchandise. So it's, 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 it's real strange. These are some strange times that we're living in, man. These are some strange times. But keep your eye on China because if, if COVID explodes again in China, it's going to explode again around the world unless the government say if you are a Chinese citizen you cannot come to our country that's the only thing that's going to keep it from exploding and what happened the first time from happening again that's the only way and that may happen that may happen they just like oh if you're from China you can't come here and if you're a Chinese citizen they're gonna like start kicking them out it's like because People are people, man. They want to communicate with their family. You can have a Chinese citizen in Africa who gets homesick, goes to China, gets the COVID variant, then goes back to Africa, then boom. It's just that simple. So I see if this thing gets really, really bad, because right now it's not, you know, no one's really talking about it. No one, you know, <clears throat> But if this explodes the way that it could, because once again, I don't know. I have no clue because um, I've been a part from medicine for so many years in epidemiology and this this I have no clue. I have no clue. But I'm just saying, keep your eye on China. Keep looking at China, because if China explodes because already just the fact that China is locking down shutting down ports factories and stuff just that fact right there that causes a lot of problems around the world that right there causes problems so we're not even talking about the infection rate which globally has come way way down but I was doing some interesting research and I saw a big spike in China with COVID flatline for many months saw a big spike here in the United States during the last summer so I feel that COVID is just going to be a normal part of life I feel that five years from now which will be seven years from COVID uh, we will be like it's just going to be a normal thing to go get your COVID sh booster shot get your vaccine it's just going to be a normal part of life because we looked at the vast amount of damage and also all right right now due to what's happening in the united states with employment with the production of low-wage jobs and the all of these stuff we're going to have a recession in 2023 we're going to have a recession in 23 i'm almost you know 99.99 percent sure so let's go ahead and paint this picture. We have a recession in 2023 and COVID explodes in 2023. Nothing but nastiness, nothing but nastiness. So 
you know, I've been vaccinated and that was a video of a lot of controversy because people said you were selling out, blah, 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 blah. I did what I felt was appropriate for me since I have a heart attack, since I am part of the high risk population. So I went ahead and got my vaccinations and my booster shot. And I will continue to do that because I believe in science and I believe that, you know, this is going to be the best course of action for me. You know, govern yourself accordingly. Do what's right for you. If you don't want to get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated. Um, but I'm telling you that if we have a repeat of what happened in 2020, the draconian measures will be serious. I mean, this time, if it gets that bad, and once again, I'm not saying it will. I don't have no clue if it's going to. But if it gets that bad, we will have lockdowns in America. If it gets really bad in China and it comes out of China again, we will have lockdowns in America. You will not be able to leave your house in America. And this is, you know, and the, the patriots are like, you're infringing on my rights as an American. I want to leave my house and go visit my friends. I want to have a barbecue. You're going to prevent me from having a barbecue or gathering with my friends? That's un-American. And you will see a lot of saber rattling, a lot of pro 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 proclamations. You, you, it's, it's going to be wild. If this happens, like once again, maybe China will keep a lid on this thing this time. Maybe they will because uh, one thing I agree with Donald Trump, we should sue China. <laughs> we should sue China because China let this thing get loose. And maybe this time they won't let it get loose. Maybe this time they will govern themselves correctly. But uh, just keep watching China. Just keep watching China. See what goes on in China. Because the fact that they're shutting down, and I've said this many, many times in this video, the supply chain shortage issue is going to be a problem for America. It's going to be a problem for Europe. It's going to be a problem for South America. It's going to be a problem for Africa. It's going to be a problem for every country in the world. And this is, this is happening right now. Google it, Google it. So just go ahead, keep watching and uh, protect yourself and keep yourself safe because um, this thing ain't over. It ain't even close to over. I know the infection rates are, low across the United States of America and we have less people dying. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But this thing ain't over. Just keep watching and see what happens a year from now. Maybe nothing, which would be a good thing, but I don't know. That's all I got. I will talk to you guys in the next one.